Hi, I'm Giselle with A Beautiful Day Un Dia Bonito. I am here with the adorable Josely Barrios. How are you, honey? I'm good, thank you. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you, me, thank you for having me. Of course. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about your background? Well, my mom comes from Ecuador and she moved to America when she was eight years old. My dad was born in America and he's from the Bronx. And I am half Puerto Rican and half Ecuadorian. Have you been to Ecuador before? No, no. I haven't. Okay. Maybe in the future, you never know. Yep. Maybe you'll go sing over there. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us some of your favorite Latin dishes. Um, I have a lot, but my top two are like, I think, ceviche and <sighs> bermud. Oh my, they're yeah. both super delicious. So when did you get into music? Well, I started singing ever since I was little, like three or four. Really? And I used to put on little shows in front of my parents and make everyone watch. Do they have videos of you? Yep, Aww. they do. <laughs> um, but I just started getting serious with music like a year and a half ago. Okay. Yep. What are some of your music influences? Um, definitely like Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, and all of like the iconic women. What about, do you like Justin Bieber and all of them? I know, I don't, everybody always mentions him. I don't know. He, he. <laughs> well, I thought you'd be like, you would have a crush on him. No? No. <laughs> Not really. Okay. So what have you learned from music that you didn't expect? Um, it's a lot harder than I thought. I can imagine. It's very time consuming and you have to give like, all of yourself, but it's okay because I love to do it. Oh, so can you share with us a little bit of your beautiful voice? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. I'm all in my head. I try to convince myself. Still I doubt, and I doubt, I overthink, yeah, yeah, every step, it's like I'm under a spell, a spell, everybody goes through pain in life, but you gotta stand up, stay strong, be brave and fight. If they knock me down, I get back up. I gotta show myself that I'm strong enough. I gotta take a stand, I gotta be the one. I gotta dig deep in order to succeed. Everybody goes through pain in life, in life, in life. Da 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 da, da 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 da, da da da. You are amazing. Thank I, you. So, I, obviously, I could not interrupt when you were singing, but I got the chills. Thank you. You are so so special. I wish I had your voice, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> So on October 28th, the Pocono Talent event, which mm -hmm. I was there and I got to see your amazing talent, took place in the Sherman Theater. Mm -hmm. There was 20 finalists that competed to win the grand prize of $1,000 and a slot in the Shawnee River Fest. Yeah. And you were the winner. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so how did it feel to win? It was amazing. It was it's such a surprise, and I just got my voice back on Wednesday. I know, Wednesday. I was going to ask you if you could share that. Yeah, and I tried every remedy to, like, cure my sore throat, and I had to work, like, so hard, and I, I'm just so grateful. I'm so happy you won. Thank you. You deserved it. So what's the most memorable point of participating in the Pocono Great Talent event? It definitely seeing all the talent there and Which performing. was amazing, right? Yeah. Everybody was. And performing was, it, it was a great experience. Good. So where can people see you perform next? Um, I'm performing on July 14th okay. at Shawnee River Fest. I'll be there with you. I'm so excited. Thank you. Well, thank you for being here. You are beyond adorable. You have an amazing 
beautiful voice. Um, I hope it takes you super far and it will because you are you. an amazing little soul. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us on Beautiful Day. Stay tuned. Welcome to Beautiful Day, Un Dia Bonito. I'm your host, Giselle Figueroa, and I'm here with the beautiful Dulce Ritter. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for having me. So you are a 15-year veteran practicing real estate in Northeast PA. Mm -hmm. You're an associate broker and a license and licensed in New York and New Jersey, and you hold various important realtor designations, such as the Certified International Property Specialist. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, that's a designation that only 1,900 agents globally hold, so it's a very elite designation. And that is uh, with international clients, you know, uh, it was a course that I had to go through that it was uh, uh, very fulfilling, so I'm looking forward to working with international clients. That's fun. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll be part of that with you one day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so can you share with our viewers a little bit about your background? I'm an immigrant. I came to the United States when I was nine years old. ¿De dónde sos? De Honduras. Ah, qué lindo. De Honduras. And um, I came to uh, New York. To the, I grew up in the borderline of Bushwick and Ridgewood. And I lived in New York until 2001, July of 2001, when I moved to the Poconos. Do you and like it here? I love it here. I, know. I love Pennsylvania. I love America. Yeah. <laughs> it's my American dream. And uh, what's not to love about Pennsylvania? I know you get it's the so four. Oh. You get the four seasons. We're located in an area where we can go to New York, we can go to Philly, we can go to Lehigh Valley. Uh, we, we can get the ski. really cold winters. Yes, but mm -hmm. we also get the beautiful fall. So, I, I, I just love Pennsylvania. All. What drew you to Berkshire Hathaway Realtors? Our shared values um, within the Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, Fox and Roach company, I run my own business and I needed to a company that, uh, you know, shared my values like ethics, uh, professionalism and just caring. Um, Berkshire Hathaway cares uh, about our clients just like I do and they care about their agents. So I'm very happy with that. How do they differ from other real estate companies? I would say is their market dominance. Um, Fox and Roach has 65 offices in uh, Pennsylvania. New, New, New Jersey and Delaware. So with my multi licenses, that was something that was very important to me. And I can work out of any office. And I can, it's just, I can go to an office in Bluebell. I can go to my uh, Princeton Junction office. And it's like if I'm in my home office. Yeah, you get to no go No change, anywhere. yes. Nice. <laughs> so throughout your career, you've expanded your services from Pocono Mountains to cover the Lehigh Valley area and areas of New York and New Jersey. Very few agents are able to cover such a broad um, area. So what sets you apart from other agents? <laughs> I would have to Other than your awesome red hair? <laughs> a couple of things, I think. Um, I think the, num the, the number one reason is uh, my ability to analyze data. Uh, real estate markets are all about the data. And sometimes people forget about that. And with the markets that I cover, I have the data on all the markets that I cover. I research it and um, it's all about the numbers. So if you put me in the middle of Siberia, you give me a fiat, give me three days and I can tell you what the market is doing in Siberia. If I have the data and I have a car, <laughs> I can tell really? you. Really? <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you be like my little, like side team to help me get my real estate. I've been doing this for 15 years and uh, doing research and analysis on a neighborhood, I pretty much have it down to a science. Sure. Because even though you know how vast just the Poconos is, we don't live like somebody may live in the West End in the Poconos, ha has no idea what the people in Marshall's Creek, right. are, uh, you know, what the market is doing over there. So it's the same thing. It doesn't matter the distance, uh, but it's about the, the analysis and my clients too throughout the years, especially my Latino clients, um, they've often asked me if I could list their house in New Jersey or in New York because they were purchasing a new house here. And I've always had to say no, but no more. That's awesome. <laughs> so I can list their houses in New York and New Jersey and they like to deal with one agent and I have to deal with two separate agencies. Right, yeah. And it's very convenient for them. That's an added value to them. So, and, I, and I love to drive. so. You do? And many agents don't, don't like to drive. <laughs> they don't like to drive. So. <laughs> I like I to do. drive. I don't mind it. I love it too. I don't mind mm -hmm. it. 
So what's the most rewarding part of real estate for you? The most rewarding part has to be helping people achieve their American dream. Because it doesn't matter if it's an immigrant uh, that just got off the boat or if it's a millennial, you know, that's just leaving their first apartment. They want their house. They want to be in a community. They, uh, they want to raise a family, you know. It's, it's just a wonderful feeling to be able to be a part of that. And with my immigrant um, clients, I love the fact that they get to own a piece of this land, you know, because they're so appreciative to be here because the opportunities that we have here, we, we don't, don't have, have anywhere, <laughs> anywhere else. So it's, I know. it's very fulfilling. I, uh, well, I know. I mean, from my background and my family, it's not as easy to have what you have here in our, you know, in the Latin countries. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's big for them. Yes. Can you share with our audience some of the services you provide to your clients? Well, um, I'm a residential full-time realtor. Uh, this is my career. I do this every day. I sleep, eat, and breathe real estate. <laughs> um, and I pride myself in uh, finding my buyers a uh, great value of a home and uh, selling my, my seller's houses for the highest and best price. So uh, that's something that I'm really proud of. I'm gonna come to you so you can help me, I'm telling you. Uh, please. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna study and have coffee together. Yes. And watch Beautiful Day on Sunday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How can um, people learn more about you? Well, they can contact me directly. I'm very accessible. Um, they can call or text me at my number, which is 917-940-1912, or they can visit my website, uh, PA Home Search or PoconoHomeSweetHome.com. Awesome. So, Thank you for being on the show. Um, it's always so fun. I know we've gone to a couple events together, and you're yes. so sweet. Um, so thank you for being here, and it was super fun. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm gonna, I'm telling you, I'm gonna come over and we're gonna study together. You're more than welcome. Okay, Sunday at 9 a.m. And we'll but I'm watch tough. It's okay, I can handle it. I, 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 you're think. not gonna get out of that house until you know your stuff. All right, I mean, <laughs> go easy on me the first time. I went easy on you today. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you're you. Awesome. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Beautiful day. Un dia bonito. Stay tuned. Welcome to a beautiful day, un dia bonito. I'm your host, Giselle Figueroa, and I'm here with Juan Sainz. He is the owner of the Legacy Barbershop in Stroudsburg. Welcome. Hello, buenos dias. Mira, me estás hablando yes. en español. Me gusta. I gotta try, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with it a little bit. All right, all right. So can you tell us a little bit about your background? I am 24 years old, originally from Costa Rica. I came to the U.S. on a banana boat. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just joking. Uh, my cousin did. No, I, we came uh, to the U.S. Uh, I was three years old. Uh, You're lived a baby. in Jersey, yeah. So I pretty much grew up in the mm -hmm. U.S., but I am Costa Rican and uh, I do have the culture. A lot of the culture uh, still runs in me. And, the good food. Oh, yeah. The mm -hmm. good food, the good music. Yeah, uh, all the good all, stuff. All the good stuff, yeah. yeah. Did we you say you were originally from Jersey? Yes, and the year of 2000, we moved to the Poconos. Okay. So I have been in the Poconos since 2000, 19 years now. So pretty much my whole life. I went to elementary school in East Stroudsburg all the way through uh, high school. So I, yeah, I've been in the Poconos. Yes, you're a Pocono boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're not, I'm no soy de Costa Rica. Boy. You're a Pocono boy. <laughs> I, I bring a little flavor <laughs> to the Poconos. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it, right? That's right. So you recently opened up Legacy Barbershop, which congratulations. And I will tell you, um, I brought my son there. Yes. So I super love you guys. Um, and he, he feels like super cool, like a grown man going in there, yeah. which he's not because he's 11. And I'm like, slow down. You're, you're not a grown man. <laughs> but um, can you tell us some about some of the services that you give your clients in Legacy? Um, services, we do everything from uh, basic uh, gentlemen's haircuts, all the way to uh, very intricate fading, uh, sharp line work, shape ups. I even personally do designs uh, when requested. We do hot towel shaves. We are now looking to incorporate a lot more of uh, facial treatments, uh, things, things of that nature. So we, we like to keep a very open market and uh, we just pretty much give the client whatever uh, they desire. So I heard Possibly there's someone there that does women's? Yes, yeah? right now we, uh, Chris has been working with us for a couple of months now. 
and great asset. He has worked in the area for 18 years doing women's hair. Can and he work on me? I mean, maybe I we mean, can get Gil to have him come in and do my hair for the show, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll buzz it right off. Yeah. Uh, just, Listen, yes. It, it will, Gil will love that with the yeah, mic yeah. and everything. It'll be awesome. Yeah, so he, he does. Um, I don't really promote women haircuts too much because Chris is the main guy who right, does that. Yeah. But he does do a phenomenal job. He doesn't really take any new color clients because it's just, it could get a little bit messy with that. Right. But when it comes to women's cuts and things like that, he's uh, really, really good. Awesome. So, so it's good that you guys have both services. Yeah. So you recently had a wonderful fundraiser for a veteran, which I attended. So yes. can you tell us about that event and what inspired you to host that event? Yes, that event was back in January 19th. Uh, great turnout. We had a lot of people come out and support. We, had, uh, we collaborated uh, within the community and brought 30, it was anywhere from 30 to 40 different businesses who donated uh, goods, uh, merchandise for Tricky Tray. Those are so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we did that. We uh, raffled off a brand new PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and a Nintendo Switch with oh, $50 awesome. gift cards. Uh, we had 50-50s. We had a uh, shirt of fundraisers that we uh, were selling, food, bunch of good stuff and on that day all the hair all the money that was raised cut in hair went to Arian Kohler and uh, his family. Uh, Arian is a local friend of the community I grew up with him really good friend of mine just one of those awesome people who are always there bringing good energy he um, I've seen his pictures he looks super yeah, happy yeah he did uh, two combat tours in Afghanistan oh. with the Marines he comes home, uh, joins the Carpenters Union in uh, New York, and he went down to Puerto Rico on a volunteer mission to help rebuild after the hurricanes. When he was down there on the last day, he got hit by a car and lost his leg. So that's, that's pretty much uh, why we did this event, was to raise as much funds for him, because we, we really do believe in giving back as, as a barbershop. And he's in such good spirits, like in his pictures. He he's always, always, yeah, always. so happy. He comes in cracking jokes about he not having so a leg, happy. and it's such yeah. a great time, you know. So, it, it's the kind of people you yeah, really want to mm -hmm. uh, to help out in any way possible. Thank you for doing that. That's Absolutely, yes. So awesome. So, what's next for Legacy Barbershop? Legacy. Other than my son asking to come in all the time and get his <laughs> special designs on his yeah. head. Uh, Legacy Barbershop, we are looking to be a lot more involved with the community. That is at the top of uh, our priorities with events like this. We've done uh, uh, Christmas caroling in the projects, uh, fundraisers like we just spoke about. So we really want to keep uh, incorporating ourselves within the community to try to motivate and, and create change for the, for the positive. Sure. So that's, that's pretty much what uh, we're looking to do. There are a lot of plans coming up uh, that I don't really talk about too much, but you will be seeing Legacy Barbershop. Uh, there are plans of expansion. So a lot of great stuff. Very excited for that. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah we're doing a lot of I'm proud of you. Of Good Thank for you. you. Good. Appreciate it. So how can people learn more about Legacy Barbershop and the location and hours? Location and hours, what we use, our scheduling system, is actually our own personalized app okay. that you can download. Uh, yeah, I use it. Yeah. on. And uh, you're like almost impossible to get into. I mean, hello, can you make some room for me and my son? <laughs> it's, it, you know. No, just. It does, it does get busy. <laughs> I know but you I guys do. I will say, all the guys at Legacy Barbershop, I have personally worked one-on-one -on -one with and trained. So... I can vouch for them when I say everybody in there uh, does great work. So if uh, one of us isn't available, we always like to make our clients feel comfortable going to anybody yeah. uh, in the shop because we really do work as a team and we all do great work. So you, it's very, 
very, very difficult to leave there unsatisfied. When I actually, when I first brought my son into you guys, I was a walk-in. Mm -hmm. And I swear, all of you were just so welcoming. He felt like so cool. And he was like, Mom, he talked to me about like video games and stuff. And yeah. You guys are just <laughs> super fun and so awesome. And you guys treat everyone so, yeah. so sweet. And that's all part of our culture at Legacy Barbershop. We uh, really like to create an atmosphere yeah. That mothers with their, can, with their children can come in, uh, you know, when when it's time for, for the hip hop and the loud music and the joke cracking, we uh, we do all that with oh, our sure. barbershop and mm -hmm. we're there to have a good time at yeah. the end of the day. That's what now, it's about, right? Doing it. We right. wouldn't be doing it if yep. we didn't have a good time. But we also do um, focus on professionalism and uh, creating that atmosphere where nobody feels uncomfortable right you guys are, are doing great and again thank you for coming on the show thank you for everything that you're doing for the community and your support i mean i'll be seeing you all the time yeah. because of my son <laughs> nicholas but um i can't wait to see what's to come and good luck with everything you guys thank are going to so do great much thank you for having me on the show i appreciate absolutely. it thanks yes. for dealing with me I mean, <laughs> that's only because I want a spot real quick to get his haircut. No, I'm just kidding. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you so but much. Yeah, You're so sweet. Too. Stay tuned for a more beautiful day. Thanks, guys. We would like to share some Beautiful Day Undia Bonito upcoming events with you guys that we would love to see you at. Beautiful Day Cinco de Mayo event on May 4th. Shawnee River Fest July 14th at Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort, eight hour free concert benefiting Pocono Alliance, which is so much fun. We would love to see you all there. And also I wanna encourage you guys to follow um, Beautiful Day Un Dia Bonito on Facebook, just so you can see the upcoming events, fun posts. Um, so I hope to see you guys all there.